Okay, so I, I did a video back when this originally happened, but it feels like deja vu all over again. Tommy Robinson jailed for contempt of court. Now, to briefly, to briefly recap, I will leave the video in the description that I originally did when he was put in jail and then when he was let out of jail. But what happened was he did a Facebook Live video in front of a court in the UK where they were doing a like a grooming, actually they say it right here, with a trial of a sexual grooming gang at Leeds Court in May of 2018. And I actually remember when I watched the video, he did... He did um, ask one of the police officers, like, hey, am I allowed to be on these steps? Am I allowed, like, where am I allowed to be where it's illegal? Like, or where am I allowed to be where I'm still being legal here? I'm still following the law. And um, as far as I know, the, the officer told him, just don't be on the stairs and you're fine. But apparently the one thing that actually was illegal, what he did, um, according to the court, was that he showed the video, he showed the images, or he showed the people that were part of the, the, the gang, the, the supposed gang that were being processed through that trial. And that was what was illegal because it interfered with the court. That is how I understand it. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a legal expert. But that's that seems to be the theory going around. From what I've seen, that's exact. That was the the law breaking there. Um, in one part, outside the court uh, or a social media account, it's called an absolute joke. Yeah. Um, but this is they're saying right here. Two old Bailey judges said his Facebook live video of defendants of the trial had encouraged vigilante action. Now, I've seen some people claiming that he actually encouraged violence. I haven't seen any evidence of that. Um, to these people, but um, I've seen other people, like in this sense, saying that by showing the people's faces, by saying, hey, these people were part of a sexual grooming gang, which I never actually found, the, I couldn't find the result if that turned out to be true or false, but it was probably true, um, but just by showing those people and saying, hey, these people are um, supposed, supposedly part of a sexual grooming gang, that that was in itself encouraging violence, that seems to be the line of reasoning there. Um, but that, that's, they're throwing him back in jail now, because what they did was they arrested him, they did a really quick, unfair trial, they threw him in jail, and then later it was revealed, hey, um, a judge's rule, judge ruled that, hey, this was an unfair trial, this was not done, the process was not done correctly, that they rushed this too through, through too much, and so you guys have to let him out of jail, and we're going to do this all over again. And that's essentially what happened. They, let, they put, threw him in jail with an unfair trial, the, the court ruled that it was an unfair trial, threw, uh, let him out of jail. And then now they ruled again when they redid the trial that, hey, we're going to throw you back in jail. So I'm not a lawyer. I cannot say whether he actually did break the law or not. I'm not saying I can't say for sure whether he he did actually violate the law and therefore deserves to be in jail. I kind of find the law a bit unfair, a bit too excessive um, in that case, because I, I think what he does is overall time, he does some pretty good work. I think even he even puts this in his book. So I'm not I'm taking that much of a radical opinion. When I read his book, Enemy of the State, I I'll try to remember to leave my review of that in the description. Something I've noticed that he even does say, yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. Sometimes I rush into things. Sometimes I don't really plan my steps very carefully. Sometimes I just do stuff. He admits he makes, he makes loads of mistakes. And I think that's really his my biggest criticism of him is that he just kind of, he, he isn't too concerned about, hey, am I really within the bounds of the law here? Is this really the right move? He, he just kind of goes into things, which in a sense, you can also respect that. Um, that he, I think what he is doing is a good thing. He is He's pursuing justice in that sense. He is trying to expose corruption expose bias and i think that's all good things but in this sense i can't say does he deserve to be in jail because he did as it appears violate the law of the court when they did a fair trial fair um again i have no idea how fair this this trial was i looked into it a bit and i can't i see too many people saying too many different things and i really can't say for sure but if you want to take a specific side on this leave a comment below and again everyone else reading it watching this video look at the comments see what people's arguments are part of the reason i make these videos with like without super in-depth without super in-depth case like this is i want to see what other people think i have no idea if he deserves to be in jail in this case i think the whole system is pretty dang unfair i think as the judge ruled he doesn't he didn't deserve to be thrown in jail that one time the first court case was really unfair and he even did ask the police officer during the the live video hey am i breaking the law by being on these steps can i do i have to be off these steps so he was taking precaution there but um of course in the sense of it's like hey did he actually break a law in that sense is, is it corruption or is it just that the law itself is is the place? And again, I'm not even saying if the law is just or unjust, but um, that's something to keep in mind. But it, it, there's clearly a problem here, right? Like, I think um, I think we can acknowledge in all of this that there was clearly a problem when um, you do something that you're not entirely sure if it was illegal or not. You ask a police officer, he says, no, you're, you're fine. Um, he gets thrown in jail, and then he gets taken out of jail, and then he gets thrown back in the jail, and it, that, no. There's clearly an issue there. But I do want to go back, just as a reminder, and look at the original. This was the original article that I looked at back when he was first let out of jail, and exactly why he was let out of jail. So, uh, he had been c convicted of contempt in May after broadcasting on Facebook a 1.5-hour video from outside Leeds Crown Court about a case which has a blanket reporting restriction imposed for legal reasons. His footage was watched by 250,000 um, people. 
Within hours, uh, he was brought before Judge Jeffrey Marson in Leeds and jailed for 10 months with an extra three months for an extra for an earlier suspended sentence for contempt. Yesterday, the Court of Appeal found that the judge had rushed into proceedings despite Robinson having removed the video from the Internet. The appeals judge also found he was sentenced as if he pleaded guilty, despite it being unclear what he was admitting to, and there had been a muddle about the nature of the contempt he faced. So what we're finding here is that the original sentence was unfair. It was, it was obviously they rushed into it. It was bad, and they overturned that. But now they did a what was supposedly a better, more reasonable trial, and they found the same thing, and they said, okay, actually, you did break the law. And so again, I'm not disputing that. I, I can't really say for sure whether, like, I'm not talking about whether the law is good or bad. All I'm saying is, did he break the law? It seems like it, but if you think I did, if you think I'm wrong, let me know why in the comment section. I do want to know. And again, everyone watching this that um, uh, that thinks he did break the law or didn't think he breaks, bro broke the law, just look at the comments. Because um, whenever I make a Tommy Robinson video, people immediately rush and they correct me on certain things. And that's good. That's very helpful. Because um, in this sense, everything seems to be, a, when it comes to Tommy Robinson, the problem is he's such a controversial figure. And you can say that's a good thing or a bad thing that he's controversial. You can say it's unfair that he's controversial. Whatever the point is, he is controversial. And what we find is it's so hard to find out what actually happened because there's so many people. And of course, I'm relying on two like mainstream sources here. And again, how reliable are those? Of course, on my first source, I didn't even remember if that was the Guardian or the BBC I picked. I picked the BBC. Of course, right after that, they're like, yeah, look at all, what all the support." They, they actually say what he did, and then they immediately jump to, look at what all the supporters are doing. Look at all these supporters, and they never do that for, for the other side. So, of course, there is an obvious bias there, I'll admit that. And that's what I, I kind of respect. That seems to be what Tommy is fighting, just the obvious, um, the, the bias there, the corruption there. But then we have to remember what happened in jail. <laughs> that last time he was thrown in jail. They threw him in with a lot of people. That it's like when you when you throw a police officer in prison, and um, everyone they're in prison with were people that they had thrown in jail or that they had helped throw in jail. So it's something like that where there's a lot of people in that prison that hate his guts, um, and and I kind of feel bad for him there. Maybe is that like that's awful. That's the idea that he just barely made it out alive last time. They clearly um, abused him pretty badly last time he was thrown in jail. So this is. Again, my only real points are, it seems like he was thrown... My only real points of this video is, he was thrown in jail again. It seems that the first process was unfair. We can't really say if this second process was fair or not. I know he's trying to seek asylum to the United States, and he's appealing to Trump, saying, hey, can you grant me asylum? That would be nice. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be really nice if they did. I think he deserves it, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, looking at this, it's... I kind of feel bad for him because, again, it's it's no matter what he does. I think he makes some mistakes along the line, but no matter what he does, it seems he seems to, to be thrown back in jail. And half of these things are very. It's it's like if the system was completely fair, he wouldn't have. Uh, they wouldn't have thrown him in jail that first time. So, it seems that I wish he was a bit more careful. But I also acknowledge that it's kind of hard for him to win in this respect. That even if he were to be perfect and obey the law, it, and and try to do what he's doing and try to expose corruption. That that's the thing. Like when you're fighting corrupt forces like that, you're there. This when you're fighting a corrupt system, which I really think he is doing. He seems to be fighting a incredibly corrupt system, as we saw with what happened in Rotherham and, and the police essentially um, turning the other way to the rape gangs and that, just kind of ignoring it. Um, I, I I don't know if there is an easy way out for him. It seems like either he has to back off and just quit what he's doing, which I don't think he should, or he has to, this is a risk of the job, kind of, and that they're going to throw him in jail whether he breaks the law or not. And it seems to be something that he has kind of some some part of a mindset that he has um adopted or at least a part of his mindset of like learned helplessness the idea of that when when you're going to be thrown in jail whether you do right or wrong why even follow the law maybe that's his approach like why just just do what he's doing and whether he's careful or not he's going to be thrown back in jail that seems to be partially his view of things and i don't know i'm not in his position to say that's the right or the wrong view i kind of wish he was more careful i would be more careful but then again He's doing the work, and I'm not. I'm just sitting here behind a screen. So um, it, it is very interesting. I want to hear your thoughts on this. This wasn't a... I understand this wasn't a well-researched, in-depth video. The point was just to throw out a bunch of thoughts and say, what do you think of this? What This is um, this is more of a video to generate discussion and just kind of report, report a few basic facts and really throw out some ideas and see what you think. Because um, it, it's really hard to decipher a lot of what's going on with him. And because you have to look at all the sources, of course, and obviously his fans are going to say this is unfair, and the people that don't like him are going to say, yeah, he deserves to be thrown in jail. But it's, it's really hard to find someone that can actually go through this um, and really explain it. So let me know what you think in the comments section. I'll try to remember to read and respond to the comments. Um, and thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.